We moved here to Aurora in the 1940s. And family settled in Aurora. Friends were here and the opportunities to play hockey and started a business when I was 20 years old. When I got a house to build, the only sub-trades used here were plumbing, heating, and electrical. What was it like starting your company 65 years ago? Well, back then, I knew everyone on the street. Houses did not have uh, house numbers. Back then, it was a handshake. There was no contracts. He'd sometimes have a meeting at 7 at night and another one at 9 o'clock after working all day. If the customers were choosing cupboards and countertops and plumbing and all that stuff, then he'd take the night off and I would deal with the customers. My mother-in-law was quite willing to give up her bookkeeping position and pass it on to me. My mother passed away in 1984, so I was not, did not deal with that very well, so that's when we hired help. When did you start working for your dad? Well, it's hard to answer that with a definite date and time, but uh, I was always working around here when I was a kid, probably getting in the way more than I was helping, but probably safe to say that time I got into grade eight, grade nine, working in summers, I was more of a value than I was a hindrance, probably. Started here full time and after I was finished a uni uh, university degree in 96. And then uh, worked for my dad and he just slowly let me call more shots. He didn't commit right off the bat, but um, he, when we were ready to start with Station Square, he made a commitment to his dad that he would take on that project, which he did and did a really good job. What's it like working with family? Comes with the share of challenges. It's good and bad. But, you know, there's an expectation that you do things the way they've been done in the past, and that's not always, not always right. And then slowly you make changes, but you can't make changes as quick as you want sometimes. But then sometimes that's good because it slows you down and makes you think about things and realize that uh, maybe the way they've been doing it in the past may not be the way you want to do it, but then you start to see why they do it that way. And how are we different than other builders and, you know, there's a lot of big builders have come into Centre Wellington recently, Toronto builders, and uh, we do things differently than they do and it doesn't allow us to build as many houses as they do in a year or in a month, but we definitely run things differently. We've always prided the fact that we work in a community and we live in the same communities. What do you hope for the future of the company? Just to carry on the way we are, not grow into some huge builder and not uh, fade away to nothing, but continue the way it's been for the last 50 years. Our hope for the future of the company is that uh, when uh, our son Tom is ready to retire, that Andrew will uh, have enough knowledge then to be able to carry on. So in some sense, I'm the third generation. Obviously, Papa was here first, and Grandpa, he was a home builder before that. So whether it was all under the same company or in, you know, however you want to look at it, it's third generation of home builders.